Okay, everybody, welcome to my latest blog post on uh, Diabetes Together uh, with me, Mark Irwin. Basically, uh, today's blog post is going to be about the amazing website called Libreview.com. I'm not entirely sure everybody is aware of this website. Um, it is for people who use the Freestyle Libre, which is quite quite a common device now for type 1 diabetics in particular. Uh, and basically, uh, it's like a cloud-based storage um, site where all of your data from your Libra is stored and you can look at it to sort of analyze any trends. You can look at all your graphs, daily graphs, monthly graphs, graphs over the past three months. You can look at all your data, your charts and everything else. Uh, it's quite, quite in, in insanely good actually um, in terms of being able to analyze what's been going on with your diabetes and trying to track trends. So essentially this is um, the the page that comes up when you've logged in. So if you've not heard of the site before and you've got a Libra, I do advise that you take a look at it. Go to Libreview.com um, and obviously you log yourself in. Uh, so you sign yourself up first and then link it to your Libra. The instructions are quite easy, um, but if you don't know how to do it, just give me a comment or a message and I will give you some more advice on that. The video is more about how you use the website rather than how to register. So when you've logged in, it does come up with this screen. So first of all, if you're using the Freestyle Libra scanner, uh, in order to scan your Libra Center and you're not using a mobile phone, then you'll have to plug this into the computer and then upload your data manually. Um, so it's nice and easy, really. You just plug it in and it'll update, up, upload all the data manually. However, the Libra doesn't store, so the, the Libra device doesn't store all of the data that you've ever recorded. So that's a little bit of a disadvantage. So I would recommend if using a mobile phone um, instead or as well as your. Um, as your Libra scanner. However, if you are using a mobile phone, which I think is a quite quite a common way of using a Libra now, it's nice and easy and it's straight to hand, then you just go to the top and if you click onto this little square box here with the wavy thing on it, it will bring up all of your information from, um, well, basically from when you've started using a Libra. So I started using it um, sort of around, so just scroll down to the very bottom. Um, early last year, it was January last year. So it's got the data right from that point when I started using it right up until today. It's a, it's a cloud-based uh, storage system. You don't have to do anything with it or um, upload it or anything like that. Once you've scanned the Libra, it automatically uploads it to your cloud area on your Libra website and you can just view and have a look at all of your data. So the first page gives you sort of two weekly blocks. So that's the past two weeks. My blood sugar average has been eight, which is not amazing. I'd like to get that back down to the sevens, which has been in the previous weeks before that. Um, and you can change this as well. So you can go to um, three weeks, four weeks, 60 days or 90 days basically three months, which is kind of in line with the HbA1c, which is uh, tested over a three-month period. And I can now see for the past three months that my average glucose has been 7.6, um, and I've had 90 hypos, which is quite insane. That's 30 a month, which is almost one a day. So I do need to do something about that, um, which is um, obvious. But you can see, obviously, the line as well. This is your median average of your blood sugars here. So this line represents where the middle of your blood sugar range sits. So that's quite a flat line. I'm quite happy with that, actually. Um, and the average glucose is 7.6. So that's really, really um, invaluable information. Uh, so let's just change that back to two weeks. And what I can now do is go onto glucose reports over in the corner here. So there's a big green button. If you should click on that, that'll take you up to another screen. And what you can then do is you can look, look at various different things on the Libreview website. It's absolutely incredible when you start using it properly because you can visually see what's going on with your diabetes. So I'll just let this load up. Uh, on the left hand side, as you can see, there are various different options um, in order to be able to track your data and to analyze what's going on. Uh, for some reason, it's deciding to take uh, longer than it normally does. Well, let's just wait for that to load up. Um, okay, so obviously at the top, so the first page that loads up is your overall um, graph. So that's an average over the past but it comes up with a month at first or four weeks. So that's December 19th to January 15th. It uh, gives you an a a HbA1c percentage and millimole, uh, millimole per mole as well. So if you use 50 uh, millimole per mole as your HbA1c result, then that's what you look at. Or if you're using the percentage value, which is I still use, it's 6.7%. So that's my estimated HbA1c, which has been quite accurate for me over the past uh, few months um, since getting the Libra. It's the HbA1c, the predicted HbA1c 
from the Libra has been very, very close. Uh, in fact, the last H3ONC was 6.5% and the Libra said it would be 6.5%. So it was actually bang on. I can see here um, the, the graph of, of the past month. I can see that I'm, uh, I might need to look at this and analyze what's going on because I'm on a pump. So it's particularly useful if you use an insulin pump. Um, I can see that I probably need to increase my basal rate um, between the hours of 8 a.m. and 12 or possibly 11. So we need to do some tweaking there because it is going a little bit high there. It dips during the late afternoon between sort of 4 and 5. Um, so that, that's a nice bit of a trend to look at. And I might need to decrease the basal there because I do reckon, recognize that because I have been having hypos later in the afternoon. And then it tends to go up um, during the late evening. So between 11 and 1, I probably need to adjust either my basal rate there or my bolus rate. So I might need to look at my carbohydrate ratio at the evening meal time and I might need a little bit more insulin in the evening time. It gives you obviously uh, also at the bottom um, the likelihood of having a hypo at particular times which is quite good so I can see this is red and what that means if you look at the settings there it means it's a high chance that between this time I'm going to have a hypo at some point so that's something to look at actually and go through and analyse. Okay, on the left-hand side, we've also got a month. Oh, so, so actually, you know, if you go to report settings there on the bottom, you can actually see that you can change your target range, your low glucose threshold, your high glucose threshold, but you can also change each of these menu items so that it shows as 90 days, 60 days, and so on. So I'm going to change me the first one, glucose pattern insights, to 90 days, and press save. And that will come up now displaying that graph as a 90 degree. 90 day chart instead of the month chart which it first comes up as it is taking a, a little bit of time to load at the moment so i think my laptop is on its way out so put it down to that usually the site is fairly quick so i'll just let that load and what i'll do is i'll just go through the other menus and see if we can load them up yeah it's slowing down a little bit so just let it load up a little bit i have to be patient here okay so that's come up now and that is now showing from october 18th to january 15th that is my um, average glucose, well, it's the median average, was the middle middle average that's most likely to be in this value. Um, and I can see now that actually the morning time is still a little bit flat, but I can see it goes up a little higher. So obviously the past couple of weeks has been worse. And I can see that the evening time over the past three months, so obviously it's a longer period of time and it's going to have more um, sort of impact on what you do in terms of changing your insulin. So this I can see is creeping up between 11 and 1 a.m. for the past three months. So I need to now go in, I definitely need to go in and I need to adjust that basal rate for that particular time and see how that plays out. And if it's not the basal rate, then it's likely that it's going to be uh, my bolus rate as well. And then it gives you, again, HbA1c. So it's actually really good because the HbA1c is based on three months worth of um, sort of blood, blood um, hemoglobin in your blood. Um, so if you set the glucose pattern insights to three months, then you're getting a good idea of where your HbA1c lies. It's not necessarily 100% accurate, but I'm happy with that. That means my HbA1c is 6.4%. Well, that's an estimated value anyway from the Libra. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so okay, we'll go down the menu now and have a look at what else you can look at. Uh, so the monthly summary is quite good. It gives you a daily um, average glucose. Now, average glucose isn't always, isn't always something to go by because if this says... Well, um, your average is 5.9 there. You might think, well, that's absolutely incredible, that. But um, that could be that I've been uh, hypo for half the day and then high for half of the day as well, and then that's just a value that lies in between. So it's not always something to go off, but it is quite nice to see because you could have a look at the Saturday there in, in the calendar view, and you could say, well, I'm always high on Saturday. I'm always 11. Um, and you could then think, well, what am I doing on Saturday? It's making me high. Do I need to increase my basal rate or whatever? And again, you can change that to 90 days or 60 days if you like. Daily log is basically a daily graph, so you can actually see where them trends come in. You can see my blood sugar's going high here, 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 and you can see every day, um, and you can scroll down the page as well and see other days, and you can see pretty much every night my blood sugar tends to rise around the time it says it is um, on that overall graph, so I know I definitely need to go in and, and have a look at how I can change that. Okay, um, snapshot on the next menu gives you just an overall sort of value of where you are uh, but more importantly it gives you so i'm going to change snapshot to 90 days now um, and it might take a couple of minutes to just load up because it seems to be a bit slow at the moment maybe everyone's jumping on it to use it because it's they just finished work and they want to analyze the blood sugar results i don't know but it is taking a couple of minutes just to load that up so i'll just leave it for a minute 
Um, what I will say is actually um, revolutionized how I'm actually with being on a pump. But even if you are on pens, you can sort of adjust your basal rates and change when you take your basal. And you can certainly adjust your bolus rates as well by looking at the data on the graphs. Okay, so that's given me um, a snapshot of where I am. So my line looks pretty flat. I'm quite happy with that, actually. Um, it's also given me time in range. So I know over the past three months, it's telling me that I'm 76% in range which is absolutely amazing. Actually, I'm really happy with that. 18% uh, of the time I'm above target, and then 6% of the time I'm below target. So my target at the moment is 3.9 on the low end and 10 on the high end. I'm happy with that target, to be honest. I don't really mind being just below 10. Um, set, I'm being realistic, and I like to see um, good results. It also gives you your carbohydrate and your meal, um, sort of carbohydrate uh, content and stuff like that. I don't use that. Um, I, I probably am going to start using it because I want the data so you can see you can look at how many carbs you've had at certain times of the day and that links in with tracking obviously where you've gone high and whatnot and the weekly summary is basically uh, it gives you well it basically gives you a week by week view of what's going on with your blood sugars so like an average line again um, and finally the daily patterns um, which gives you which I think I think is quite nice actually because it gives you uh, an average glucose for specific parts of the day uh, which I think is really good because you can go in and you can say, well, actually, I tend to be around 8.9 at this time of the day and this time of the day, so I probably need to do something about that. And that's probably where that um, adjustment that I need to make lies as well because I, I need to increase my basal rate or perhaps even my bolus rate for this particular time frame. So it's really good. And then obviously all your carbohydrate stuff would be under there and, you, and, and your insulin, how much insulin you've taken. I don't tend to do that, should though, because it, it looks like it would be really good, valuable information because I can't fully remember what I'm what I'm eating at certain times of the day and what, how much insulin I've taken, and that might really link into this. So I'm going to start using it, and I'll update you on that when I do. But you can see there that how easy that will be to sort of um, navigate. So if, you, if you're looking at this particular thing here and you see that you've had 90 grams of carbs but only taking 70 grams of insulin, you might need to adjust your bolus rate as well. So And again, you can change that to three months or or 60 days, sorry, 90 days or 60 days or whatever you want it to set to. Um, and obviously, yeah, so that's that's basically a, a, a quick overview of the Libreview website. So it's www.libreview.com. It's absolutely incredible and I use it quite often. Um, in order to track what's going on with my diabetes and manage it over a certain time frame. So I know this is three months. I definitely need to do something about this. However, if it did look at a daily graph and I just saw this one here and I thought, well, this is high and this is high, I'm going to increase my basal tomorrow, then I might be doing a bit, bit of a disservice to me because that's a short frame of time, not an average over a long time. I think it takes a few weeks to, to sort of track any trends, but it's absolutely incredible. And the final thing you can do is you can actually print or save a PDF of all of this information. So you press the green button down there, that'll prepare a PDF for you, and that'll download to your computer. And once you've opened that, you've then got all the information. You can print it out and take it to your hospital, or you could you could just print it out for a record, or you could open it up on an iPad and have a little look at that. And I will say, actually, you can use this website, libreview.com, on iPhone and iPad as well. Um, I'll just see if I can open that um, on my screen so you can see what's going on with the PDF. So you can use it on your phone and your iPad, and you can actually download the PDF straight to your iPad. So you could take it to the hospital, and you could go through um, all of the all of the results with your medical professional, doctor or nurse or whoever is you're seeing. So yeah, so basically that's uh, it's, that's an overview of the Libreview website. Um, absolutely fantastic piece of software and it really has revolutionized my diabetes. Um, I just wanted to see if I could open the um, PDF, but it seems like the computer's running quite slow tonight. I did say it's actually, uh, it's actually on its way out. So unfortunately, I might not be able to see that PDF. Okay, there it is. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Um, just let it load up for a minute and the PDF should show all of the data the graphs and charts I've just looked at so yeah anyway there we go so that's the PDF and that's quite nice um, to see and you can see all that data and print that and share it as well okay so um, that pretty much brings me to the end so thank you for watching and if you need any um, advice on how to use it or what to do to register or anything like that just please just give me a a, a message or a obviously a a comment on the video will be fine as well and um, thank you very much for watching diabetes together with me mark Irwin. and um, and if you want to head to my twitter t1d together um on twitter you can have a chat with me on there about anything you want um, and i'll see you soon